From death and discord came a new order through the iron will necessary to oppose it. much to do. You cannot let it end this way. Oh. There is no time to delay. She must be stopped. Mother has sent what she calls the quiet ones to stop you. But you cannot allow them to. You mustn't. The only way to stop them is to kill them first. On your feet, soldier. She is trying to use the radio transmitter to broadcast her message. She calls it her siren song. People hear it and... and they fall under her spell. I must warn you, it is not only the quiet ones that she controls. She has been experimenting, creating... <coughs> monsters. Stop the broadcast and you can silence her voice forever. Go. Go now. What is going on guys? Adam here at Hound of Hell Gaming. So today we're going to be playing for the first time ever, Skirt Ritual. Now please correct me if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I hope I'm not. Now I'm just having a quick look. The first time ever even loading up the game. There's uh, some great customization options, really, really cool, really nice masks and things like that. Now you can purchase these, I don't know if you can unlock them manually, uh, but they're not ridiculously priced. I'm not really got a problem with buying skins like that, as long as they fit the game, and these certainly do. So, let's go into the matches, see what we've got available. This is feeling solo, private match, it's feeling very much like a... Call of Duty Zombies game so far. And we've got multiple maps. All seem to be very different styles. We're going to go with normal on the first playthrough. Let's go and see what this is all about. I'm so excited for this one. Here. This is Lavenock Point. One of her radio towers is here. She's using them to control people, so you must find and destroy it. So straight off the bat, what I can tell you is this game feels fantastic on the joypad. The way the dual sense is reacting to this is absolutely incredible. I feel like it's gonna fly out of my hands. The kickback from the gun is absolutely epic. The best I've felt on any gun, on any game, on the PS5 so far. And visually, the game looks absolutely beautiful. Call of Duty. You know, I, looking at this, I don't care what Treyarch are doing next. These guys is where it's at. Wells Interactive. You're doing exactly what the fans want by the looks of it. And I'm all for that. Never change, guys. Ah! <laughs> 
so it looks like we've got a perk system in place we've got things like what we would know as quick revive and stuff like that I think we can buy ammunition over at this one oh, swift death I need to look into that when I'm not getting swarmed by uh, monsters and demons I kind of like that it isn't zombies um, it's, but it's the same sort of you know round based horde system like I think it's cool we've got different character types it, it, it's probably going to feel much more fresh in the later rounds now that is friggin cool you can change the difficulty in the middle of the match put it up or down that's amazing so I have no idea if I'm doing something wrong or whether it's meant to be this way but I don't appear to be able to go anywhere other than this little area that's open um, it could be that we have to reach a certain amount of rounds first maybe there's a boss that we have to face I don't know, but I'm going to find out. Oh, that was nice. Nice Molotov, that. Sweet baby Jesus. In the words of Conor McGregor, who the fuck is that guy? It's like Mr. X from Resident Evil chasing me. And I'm pumping him full of lead and it ain't working, guys. So I enjoy gaming, I enjoy the games that I play, but I don't remember the last time a game left me feeling this satisfied, this happy, this intrigued, entertained, how, I, I don't know how many other superlatives I can give it, but this game is fantastic. I am going to lose a lot of time to this game and I'm not complaining whatsoever. What a great job they've done.
No, I love the feel of this game. I have no idea what that does. Elixir of life. Not a clue. I assume it gives me life, obviously. How? It looks like L, LB, L1. I can take some sort of liquid. Maybe it cures my health, I don't know. Now, this game is way beyond my expectations. I saw it last week. I haven't seen any advertising for it. I haven't heard about it. Nothing. And I don't know whether that's me living under a rock or living in the middle of nowhere. But I really knew nothing about it. And I saw a brief clip of it and somebody saying this is the game that we wanted from Treyarch, from Activision, from Call of Duty for many, many years. And instead they're giving us loot boxes, they're giving us all sorts of open world nonsense. You know, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And they don't seem to have got that memo because they're covering their eyes with dollar bills. So this, this, this could be the start of something absolutely incredible. I can't imagine how amazing this will be with a group. So I'm pretty sure regular viewers of the channel will be able to tell by how much I'm talking, how happy I am with this game. Like, If you like Call of Duty Zombies, if you like round based hard survival modes, go and get this game. It isn't expensive, it's not a $70, $80, $90, $100 game, it's cheap and for the entertainment that I've had from it just in this one game is better value than most AAA games that you pick up for full price. Honestly, go and pick this game up, you won't regret it.
Now, I, I assume that there's going to be Easter eggs and stuff like that. There's missions, as we're seeing in the top left corner. And I think that that's something that they've done really well. That's, that's probably better than Call of Duty. Like, it's, it's pretty straightforward. We've got a location on the map so that we can go and follow that. We've got a description at the top. We've got the, the health bar of what we need to do. Uh, I think that that's fantastic. I'm not, when I play these games, I'm enthralled with what I'm doing. It's too busy to focus on all the other things and this actually feels easier. This feels like they've set it up for people who have attention problems and that's fantastic. So I've 1000% waffled enough about this game on this video. I'm going to go on Twitter, X, whatever you want to call it, and waffle some more. I'll probably waffle every day about this game until I have to move on to something else. Until I realise that every video on my channel can't be this game. Um, but until then, I hope you're looking forward to more content. And I'm going to leave you for however long I'm going to survive. Um, to enjoy the footage as I've said earlier go and pick up the game guys absolutely incredible a studio who seems to know what we want and listen to what we want and those are the ones that we should be putting our faith and our wallets with at this time not these faceless companies that just want to take all our money so go out pick up this game look into what other games that we've got I know that there's something else in this universe that came before this. I'm definitely going to go and look at that. But I don't think it's anything like this. But I think that that is really, really unique. Um, I can't remember the name of it. Made of Skur or something like that. Um, and I think it's fantastic. And I'm pretty sure I read somewhere that the story of it is like based on a, a true legend in Wales or something like that. Uh, on an island. Uh, and I'm going to look into that even more. So, thanks very much for watching, guys. Enjoy the rest of the video. I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm going to be quiet, I promise. Take care, and I'll catch you in the next one. My great-grandfather, Jebediah's crew, used to live in this village. Beneath you there's a laboratory where my mother has done unspeakable experiments. It's this way to the radio tower's main control room.
over in the spirit world, but there's still a chance to reincarnate yourself. Come back to me. Find your way back. It wasn't supposed to end this way. <laughs> <laughs> 